Uh, we're going to give you a little tour of our RV up in Williston Crossing RV Resort. Here's a Google view to kind of give you an idea of where our RV actually sits within the resort. You can see by the arrow this is where we sit. Uh, also one of our favorite things about this resort is the lakes. And here's Lori and I will give you a quick little tour of our site. As you can see we have a nice kind of an end of an island type of a, a lot. We have a pool and the clubhouse just down the road from us. And uh, as you can see, we get a fair amount of golf cart traffic here in this area as well because we're kind of right in the center of the resort. We'll just do a little pan of the area and then we'll show you a little bit more detail of our lot itself. You can see we're right next to a nice little covered bridge. We'll kind of move over to the right here in just a second to give you a little bit better view of that. And you can see this is the back side of our lot. We have our dish antenna there. And you can see we've got a pretty good sized lot. See, here's the deck that we built. Of course, the RV can still be pulled out and brought back. It's not attached to the deck in any fashion. And here's our golf cart named Clifford, but he's covered up. And we have our shed in the back, as well as my little 10 foot fishing boat named Mighty Mouse 2. And you can kind of see what the back of our deck looks like. And we'll kind of uh, fly in here a little bit closer. I'm a little cautious as I'm coming in, so I'm kind of jerky because I don't want to hit a tree. And one more quick look from the back side of our lot, and then we're going to go down and take a quick look at the lake. start by taking off about this area. I'm going to fly this direction and then fly this direction. So you'll see that footage here. Again, this lake was built from a quarry and right in front of you there, the main area there, it's probably about 40 foot to 50 foot deep. So it's a very deep lake for its size. show you the surrounding area. There's the back side of the lake. And that's the RV resort itself. We're right about right there where the arrow is. And the resort actually goes to the right, but it's all covered up with trees. See, I'm fairly tilted because I got a lot of wind that I'm fighting, and it's actually having to tilt into the wind to keep itself stable. 
I'm up about a hundred yards up in, in the air. So let's go ahead and fly down this direction a little ways. And again, that's part of the back of this first front lake. You can see the RVs along the top there, which is, uh, that's a pretty good sized cliff and they have nice views of the lake from there. As you can see, I pretty much have the place to myself. There's only a handful of us that uh, come down here on a regular basis. And there's a couple other uh, friends that uh, do some fishing down here, but not too many all in all. We do have a couple boats down here that are owned by the resort for anybody who wants to take those out. Uh, I, I don't see them used very often, but they are available. And uh, this water right here is about 30 feet deep in the deepest point. goes on back in a little bit to the right that you can't see, but I don't want to get too far away. about 25 to 30 foot deep, maybe a little bit deeper now that the water's coming back up again. But it's a nice little pool area here. Unfortunately, I, I, I do not see the alligator today. He usually hangs out back here. He's actually, I think he's got a nest back in an area. I'll kind of point that out here in a few minutes. But um, quite often I see the alligator. He's about a six to seven footer. He's not real big. And you can see that grass is growing up in the lake here. It's actually about 10, 15 foot deep there. That grass is about a foot under the water. It's a nice little marsh area, which I'm sure the gators would love. It's another nice little pond kind of over on the far side there that's not connected to the main part of the lake. All, all the, the rest of this lake, the biggest part of this lake is connected together. And back there in the back where you see the grass up in the air, it's actually about seven or eight foot deep back in there as well. So uh, you can get back in there with your boat fish it all in those weeds and such and I have had some success back there. The battery's starting to get a little low so I'm going to come back over and kind of just do a couple uh, short flybys uh, closer to the bank in case uh, I start to get a little too low on battery. I don't want to be too far out across the water with it so we'll just kind of buzz around right here. I want to show you right here is Back in there is typically where I see the alligator. I think he's got like a nest back in there, or at least had a nest back in there at one time. I want to just do one more quick little flyby here to kind of show you this back marsh area. That pretty much wraps up 
uh, our flight for today. I hope you in, uh, enjoyed uh, the video. Thank you.